free. He came to set the captives free. He came to deliver those that are in oppression. He came that you and I will be saved forever. Not only saved here on this earth, we shall all be saved even in the great beyond. At the end of our journey here, the price that Jesus paid on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago is going to speak for you, is going to speak for me, is going to speak for us. And so we want to thank God for this opportunity to be part of it, of, of the celebration today. Today, as you celebrate, may the glory of God be with you. May the mercy of God be with you. May the love of God flow in your family. May the, may the power of heaven always cover you, protect you, and fight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when he went to the cross of Calvary, he made an announcement which is, which is, which is very, very authentic, and it is authentic even up to this day. An announcement he made over 2,000 years ago is still authentic in your life, is still authentic in my life. And that announcement was that it is finished. It is finished. Today, I bring the wind, the, the, the wind of victory, the wind of victory. I bring that wind that set him free on the uh, on the cross of Calvary, that set him free uh, even after he was buried for three days. That wind that brought him alive, I welcome you to that wind. That wind will locate you. That will, wind will, will, will transform your lives. That wind will locate your family. That wind will bring change that you deserve. From tonight, from today, from this moment, I release that wind to your homes. I release that wind to your hearts. I release that wind to anything that pertains to your life and your family. And that wind is going to do you good. It is the winning wind. It is the winning wind, the wind of victory. That wind is going to be activated this morning. And as you listen to this message, as you share this message, as you invite people to join us in this in this in this service the lord will bless you tremendously the, the lord will bring that change without delay in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth. at least that is the contribution you are making for this purpose and for this purpose was the son of man made manifest that at the end of his journey on this earth he will release unto us power that will protect us, the wind of change, the wind of power, the wind of victory. He gave us victory on the cross of Calvary, and you and I, we are today enjoying that victory, and if you have never seen that, that the, the, the victory, the, the, the glory of that victory, you will see it from today. You will see it from today, as we bring the winning wind part three, winning wind part three, it shall be a portion that the name of Jehovah be glorified. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, and I want us to go straight to the book of Matthew, chapter 27, and I'm going to read from verse 1. And when the morning was come, all the chief priests and the elders of the people, they took counsel together against Jesus to put him to death. To put him to death early morning. What people were thinking about is how to, to, to uh, how to put someone to death, how to bring pain, how to bring uh, mayhem against people. Early in the morning, the Bible said that the elders, the elders, the elders of the people, they took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. I don't know who has who is taking counsel against you this hour. I don't know who is taking counsel against you. All those counsel shall be turned. To foolishness, it shall be termed the can the cancel of Ahitophel, the cancel of Ahitophel. Jesus has taken all that he, he needed to be taken as a result of people taking cancel against us. He took it and 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 he did it for you and I. He did it for you and for me. So that every cancel that men would take, every conspiracy of men and women against you will never stand again. Because of the price that Jesus paid on the cross of Calvary. That price is what we are, you and I are benefiting from today. And that price, that price, my God, that price, that price will work for you and work for your family. That whosoever that is ganging up against you, whosoever that is conspiring against you and your family, the Lord will bring shame to them. The Lord will bring victory to you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for the wind of victory is blowing. The wind of victory is, is going around seeking for whom to save. For those who love the Lord himself, the wind of victory will locate you this hour. The wind of victory will locate you this moment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to tell you that every conspiracy shall be put at bay. Every conspiracy, because early in the morning, what people do these days is to conspire on how to harm people, on how to hurt people, on how to undo people. But if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Nobody can be against you because the Lord is for you. One with God is majority, brother. One with God is majority. And one with God is the winner. Praise the Lord. Victory is assured in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory, victory is assured through the blood of Jesus, the blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary. And in the morning, they came together and they took counsel together against Jesus to put him to death. You are not the only one that people have conspired against. They conspired against Jesus. You are not the only one. So don't take life personal. Sometimes that is how life ought to be. So that you know that God is for you. So that they will experience the power of God. So that you will experience the power of God. So believe God today that whatever conspiracy that is going on in your life, that is going on in your family, the Lord is going to work for you. The glory of Jehovah is going to work for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. I don't know where you are watching me from, but I know that the Lord has prepared an escape route for you against any conspiracy, against any gang up. You are going, you are going to have victory even at last in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For God has given us victory on the cross of Calvary, and today we are celebrating that victory. The Bible say, uh, say early in the morning, early in the morning, they conspired against Jesus to put him to death. Early in the morning, early, early in the morning, you can imagine. And verse 2 says, and when they had bound him, so they captured him and they bound him together and they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. So all conspiracies that is going on against you, there must be somebody that is ready to prosecute you. There is somebody that is supervising this gang up. Some of them are leaders. Some of them are heads of states. Some of them are presidents. Some of them are governors. Some of them are ministers. Some of them, they have one power or the other. But I know that the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will give you victory. And so they bound Jesus and they took him to the governor called Pontius Pilate and they began to lay accusations against him. Every accusation that is leveled up against you. This morning, the Lord is going to take that accusation to the cross of Calvary and it shall be finished there because he said it is finished. All, if, uh, all kinds of accusations that the enemies, that, your, uh, that people are ganging up against you to accuse you, to, to make sure that they bring you down. They will not be able to succeed. They will not succeed. For if God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for you, who can be against you? You are the winner. You are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are victorious through the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So you don't have anything to fear. You don't have anything to bother yourself about. For the Lord is for you. The Lord is fighting for you. Heaven is fighting for you. And you will have victory. The wind of victory is blowing. And verse 3 says, And Judas who was called Iscariot, who was uh, surnamed Iscariot, which had betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and to the elders. You can imagine, all chief priests, chief, when you hear chief priests, they are chief priests of synagogues. I'm telling you, and the elders of the church, and the elders of the village, chief priests of the of certain altars in the village, in your town or in your community, they are all called chief priests together. Praise the Lord, and they are all called elders together. And so, when the two cancer together, they gave money to Judas Iscariot. They sold a whole Jesus to one of his disciples. There may be people working with you. There may be people doing business with you, and they are selling you out to the enemy. Remember, 
that you are not alone in this battle, you are not alone in this journey. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth will give you victory, and victory shall be yours forever. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, know it that you are not alone in this journey, in this journey of conspiracy. Judas Iscariot, who was a disciple of Jesus Christ, was among the was was the singular one that collected money and sold the master himself. Many people have sold their friends because of what they want to gain. Many people have sold their brothers because of what, what they want to gain. Many people have sold even their parents because of what they want to gain. But I want to assure you that every conspiracy that is going on against your life today shall bring it to an end. Today, I command it to come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those who are conspiring against you, those who are conspiring against your family, those who are saying that you cannot move forward, the Lord will bring them down. The angels of God will bring them down. I remember what happened on that day that Jesus was sold. Look at Peter, uh, 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 this guy called Judas. He sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver. Only God knows how much it is in today's money. But it's, a, it's peanut. It's peanut. Peanut. People are selling their brothers for peanut. People are people are conspiring against their, 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 their relations for peanuts. For peanuts because they want to make money. They are using their brothers for rituals. They are using their parents for rituals. Remember that if God, if God be for any man, there's nothing you will do that we harm that person. For Jesus has taken our pains to the cross. For Jesus has taken that the, the, the conspiracy. He was crucified on that conspiracy so that you and I will not be crucified. Even though they are planning to abduct you, even though they are planning to kidnap you because they say that they know that you have money, maybe somebody from your family has gone to expose you to them to say that you brought some amount of money home so come, let us kidnap him. Let us deal, deal with him. Let me tell you, before they hatch out that plan, the Lord will reveal it. The Lord will reveal it to law enforcement agents, and those law enforcement agents will track them down, and that will be the end of their lives. Because of you. Because of you. And you know what happened? Judas Iscariot that sold Jesus, when he discovered that, that, that they plotted, they have they, 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 they want to kill him. He repented. He repented. He, 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 was, he was ashamed. He was ashamed. You see? The Bible said that he repented. You know? And he brought that money back. He, brought, he sent the money back to them. He said, take your money. I didn't know you are going to kill him. I only wanted to take money from you. But now that you want to kill him, that his blood shall not be on my head. Saying, I have, in verse 4, he, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? What do you mean? See, thou to that. See thou to that. You have to deal with it. Because we have, we have paid you, we have paid you. Deal with it. And Judas was, he wanted to wriggle himself out. He wanted to wriggle himself out. He returned that money. And they refused to take the money. They said, see to it, we have already bought him. We have already paid you. So if there is any consequence coming to it, let it be on your head. You can see. Those people who are plotting against you, there will be cause of fire that will come on their heads. In the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. For the Lord has died on the cross of Calvary for you and I. Praise the Lord. Verse 5, and he, he cast down the pieces of silver on in, in the temple. You see, those elders, those, those chief priests, they were members of the temple. They are worshippers of the same church. People who worship in the same church. Some of them, you think that they came to worship God, but they are there as agents of darkness to pull down the church. They are there to attack the church. They are there to attack the, the body of Christ. They are there to record one thing or the other and go and, and, and add salt and pepper and, and tell lies even against the body of Christ. 
you see? And he brought the, the, back the silver, the money to them. And they refused to take it. And then he dropped it in the temple. He dropped the money in the temple. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple. And he departed. And he went and hanged himself. <laughs> he went and hanged himself. You know why? Because the power, the power of heaven, the glory of heaven, the armies of heaven, they we are with Jesus Christ. Even though it was programmed that Jesus has to die for others to be saved, yet whosoever, whosoever that shall be used to bring that to come to pass will also be punished. Will be punished. I don't know who is plotting against you. I don't know who is fighting you. Today, the same thing that happened to Judas Iscariot will happen to them. The same thing. And you will live. Remember that Jesus lives forever. Even though he was killed, crucified, after three days he rose up. And that is why we are here today. That's why we are here this morning. To celebrate his, his, his rising. To celebrate his resurrection. Because the resurrection force, the resurrection wind is moving. Moving and moving to grant victory to men. To grant victory to women, to grant victory to people who believe in God, to grant victory to those who know the God they serve. The Bible says that those who know the God they serve, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. I see, I see, I see your enemies going down from today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see your enemies going down from today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will never, you will never lose this battle. The battle that is going on, you will never lose it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will give you victory. The Lord will grant you victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Lord knows your name. The Lord knows your battle. And that battle, the Lord will take over the battle from this moment. The Lord took over the battle in the case of Jesus and Judas and the elders. The Lord took over. Heaven took over the battle. Heaven took over the battle. And you know what happened? In verse 6, And the chief priests took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for us to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. The price of blood. Whosoever touches you, Whosoever plots against you, the price of the blood of Jesus will come up alive. The price of the blood of Jesus will come up alive. Because I know that men, men conspire against people who are successful. They conspire against people who are making it in life because of jealousy, because of what I don't know. And jealousy is always is always the, uh, 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 ex existing amongst peers, amongst friends, amongst brethren, amongst brothers, amongst sisters. Even in the body of Christ, jealousy. When they see that people's ministries are, are growing and people are being saved in those ministries and people are worshiping God in truth and in spirit, all they will do is that they will go and raise one thing or the other. One dust or the other in order to destroy the ministry. But you know what? <laughs> Even if the church is closed, the, mis the ministry is not closed. The ministry is not closed. The ministry is not. Even if you want the church to be closed, the ministry is not closed. For I know that there are so many agents of darkness that are going up and down, doing one thing or the other to close the churches all over the world. The churches of Jesus Christ, where truth of the gospel is being preached. I'm telling you, many people are going, especially chief priests, priests, elders, chief priests, elders, chief priests and elders, the chief priests, the so called. Senior uh, 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 popes amongst us. Those who think you are you are taking their members. I don't know. I don't know all this member membership grab grabbing here and there. I don't know why. 
They don't even want other younger churches to grow. No. They want everybody to come to their own church. Why? Because of mundane things. Mundane things. No longer, it's no longer the, the souls that are looking for. They are looking for members. No longer looking for souls. They are looking for members. This is not why Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. You are looking for members. How many members are, came to church today? All the all the ushers and the protocols. They are all going around and 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 writing the number of people in the church, so that they will know how many people that came to church. So that will, they will know how much they are going to make that day. That is their sense, brother. That is their sense. Their sense is that they want to know how much they are going to make that day. Hey, we had 1,000 uh, people in the first service. The next service, they said, ah, the next service, 500 people. The third service, the, the first service, second service, <laughs> third service, fifth service. Out of all these services, all you hear is garbage. Rubbish. Motivational talks. That's what you hear. It's no longer, it's no longer the, 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 the message of salvation. It's now motivational talk. Motivational who speaks fluently, who speaks good English, who dresses well, how to make money. 25 principles of getting wealth. 30, 30 steps you have to take in order to make it in life. These are what are being taught in the church. It's no longer taught in the universities or in the colleges. It's now being taught in the church. The Bible says precepts upon precepts. That is what is the problem of the church now. Precepts upon precepts. Steps upon steps on how to make it. It's no longer salvation. No longer salvation. No more. It's now members. How many members do you have that are going to buy your books today? Turn this sermon into a book. Where are the team? Where are the, the media team? Please make sure that in the next service, this thing is already in a booklet so that we can sell to members. And because of selling that booklet, they'll go and produce like 2,000 copies. Each copy is one 1,000 naira, one 1,000 pounds, one 1,000 dollars. For you to progress, for you, for God to bless you, you have to pay that one thousand five five hundred pounds, five five hundred dollars. You have to pay it for four hundred, three three hundred. You have to pay it in order to succeed. Yeah, if you don't pay it, and then they will have first service, one thousand people will buy it. Second service, one thousand people. The next that very day, they will earn millions upon millions. And if they put a program for five for seven days a week. For all those seven days, they are going to make millions every day. And the next thing you hear is that the, the, we, are, we are now going to buy uh, uh, this thing, a uh, plane. We are going to buy, nobody is against that, but we should know that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for something more than mundane things. Because all these things are vanity upon vanity. What the only thing that is precious in your life is your life. If your life is saved, that at the end of your sojourn on this earth, when you die, you will go to heaven and be with our Lord Jesus Christ, a place he has gone to prepare for us. He said he's going to prepare a place for us. Let me continue to read from verse 7. And the two castle, and they bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore, that field was called the field of blood until this day. They used that 30 pieces of silver and they went and bought land somewhere where they would now bury the dead. Because they know that that particular money is, is, is price of blood. And they used it to buy a piece of land for where they would for the purpose of burying the dead. Price of blood. Blood money. They use it to buy a field, a land, a plot of land, some plots of land, some acres of land that they will use to bury the dead. So everything that is following that money is debt, debt, debt. Blood price, blood money, 
field of blood. The Bible says that that field was called the field of blood even until this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet saying, and they took the 30 pieces of silver. And they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value. That was a prophecy before it happened. It was already prophesied in the book of Jeremiah and in the book of Zechariah. You can see it in Zechariah 11, verse 12 to 13. And verse 10, and he said, and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are thou the king of Jews? And Jesus said unto him, You have said so. That is exactly what you have said. Just envy. Because he said he is the king of Jews. He is the king of the Jews. And so envy came up. I want to become a politician. I want to become a governor. I want to become the president. All of a sudden, envy came up from nowhere. And now they are hunting you down. Don't worry. If God be for you, no man can be against you. The only thing you have to do is to make God first in anything that you want to do. If you follow the, the path of others who want to kill before they get to where they want to get to, you will also be destroyed. You will also be destroyed. For God is no respecter of persons. And verse 12, and when he was accused of the chief priests and elders before the governor and answering nothing, then said Pilate unto him, did you hear? Hear it thou not how many things the witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word. Insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. He never answered a word. Not even a word. All the accusations, he was just looking at them, knowing fully well that he is on a mission. Brother, you are on a mission and God is for you. Sister, you are on a mission and God is for you. Praise the Lord. Knowing that he is on a mission. Praise the Lord. Knowing that he is on a mission. Hallelujah. He is on a mission. And I know you are on a mission. And that mission will be accomplished. Your mission on this earth will be accomplished. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your mission will be accomplished. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I believe it and it shall come to pass. If you believe it, you will begin to share this message. You will begin to share this message. If you believe it, you will begin to share this message. Praise the Lord. If you believe it, you will begin to share this message. You will begin to share this message. If you believe it, you will begin to share this message. You will begin to share this message. If you believe it, you have to start sharing this message. Start sharing this message. If you believe it, you have to start sharing this message. Please. Share this message, please. Share this message, please. Invite your friends. Invite your friends.
Please share the message. Share the message. Invite your friends. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now at that feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner in that particular at that particular period there was a feast where the governor has to grant amnesty to just one prisoner and wh whom the people will choose and verse 16 and they had then notable prisoner called barabbas therefore when they were gathered together pilate said unto them who will you that i release unto you in amnesty barabbas or jesus and which is called christ for he knew that for envy they had delivered him for envy they knew that all this thing they did to jesus was envy as a result of envy people are attacking you because of envy but you know what god created you to be envied that is the truth because he is going to garnish your life he's going to bless your life he's going to turn things around in your life and in so doing people will envy you you are not to be pitied brother sister you are not to be pitied for you are created as an object of envy because of what God is about to do in your life. They will envy you. They will not like what God is doing. But you know what? When they start behaving like that, just tell them to go and help transformer. <laughs> because you must have victory over them. Let them go and help transformer and be electrocuted. Verse 19, when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just have nothing to do with that just man? This is Pilate's wife. Don't have anything to do with that just man. For I have suffered many things this day in the dream because of you. I saw a dream. The wife of, of Pilate, of Pontius Pilate, saw in a dream. <laughs> And this woman was even fighting in that dream. He said, my husband, I have suffered many things because of you in my dream. Touch not that just man. Don't touch him. Brother, sister, you are declared untouchable. From today, you are declared untouchable. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't touch that just man. That man is just don't touch him because i have suffered a lot in the dream because of you but the chief priests and the elders they persuaded the, the the multitude that they should ask barabbas and destroy jesus they should have barabbas resist and let them destroy jesus who conspired the chief priests and the elders Members of the same synagogue that Jesus goes to preach. Members of the same church. Members of the body of Christ, so to speak, in those days. Members. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the two will you that I release unto you? And they said, Barabbas, free Barabbas, free Barabbas and destroy Jesus. And Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? And they all said unto him, Let him be crucified. Let him be killed. You see? Let him be killed. 
because he's called Christ. Because he's called that he said that he is the king of the Jews. Let him be killed. And the governor said, Why? What evil has he committed? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. And when Pilate saw that he could not prevail, but that rather a turmoil, a noise, chaos was made, he took water and washed his hands before the people, before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. This man has committed nothing. I, my hands are clean. And he washed his hands. They gave him water. He washed his hands. He washed his hands. and said, I am innocent. I have nothing to do with the blood of this person. It is you who want to kill him. I am innocent of the blood of this just man. And then, answered all the people. They said, his blood be on us, you see. They decided to carry the blood. They decided that the blood of the innocent will be on their heads and on their children. And then released he, Barabbas, unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. He gave Jesus to them. And then the soldiers and the governors, the soldiers that, that, that surround the governor, they took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers to guide him. And they stripped him naked and put him on a scarlet robe. And when they had plotted, when they had Plattered a crown of thorns on his head. They put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him. And they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him. They spat upon him and they took the reed. And, this, and smote him on the head. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the robe of him and put his own raiment on him. And they led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Syrian, Simon by name. Him that compelled to bear his cross. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say a place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he could not drink it. And they crucified him. And they put his garments, casting lots, and it might be that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head his accusation written, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. This is, the, is Jesus, the King of the Jews. You and I are the Jews that he came to save. Those people, they rejected him. But you and I, we have accepted him as our Lord. He has become our Christ, our Savior. And we shall be saved. And they set up his on his head the, the accusation that was leveled against him that he said he is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then we are the two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and one on the left side. 
And they, they that passed by, they reviled him. They, 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 they mocked him, wagging their heads and saying, oh no, this man could not even help himself. And saying, you that destroy us, the temple. And can you that you said that you would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself now. If thou be the Son of God, come down from this cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and the elders said, He saved others himself, he cannot save. Mocking. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and then we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver himself now. Let God deliver him now. If he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. <laughs> the thieves also which we are crucified with him, they cast the same in his teeth. The thieves also insulted, insulted him. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. From six, which is twelve noon, twelve noon to 3 p.m. 12 noon to 3 p.m. There was darkness all over the land. Darkness all over the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabatani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Sometimes we cry this kind of cry when it is too much for us to handle. But remember that God will always show up. God will always show up for you and for me. God showed up to Jesus after three days. They kept him in the tomb. And he rose after three days. And some of them that stood there, when they hear that, said, this man is calling for Elijah because they respect Elijah so much because he said Eli, Eli, Lama Sabatani. So they are calling for Elijah. <laughs> that he is calling for Elijah. This is what they, they, they thought. And straight away, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on his reed on a reed and gave him to drink. They put the vinegar, put it in a cup and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabatani, he yielded up the ghosts. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn into two from the top to the bottom. And the earth quaked, and the rocks scattered. All the bricks, all the rocks, the earthquake brought down the mountains, brought down rocks, brought down buildings, brought down houses because. There was a great wind that blew. The wind of victory came down. Came down. When he gave up the ghost, he came down starting from the temple, starting from the church. He, the, the wind of change, the wind of victory, that wind that, 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 that you are waiting for, that will hit you after today, that wind of victory came in the time of Jesus Christ. That wind came to the temple. That wind came to the church to locate some people. That wind came to the congregation of the saints to locate people so that people will have victory on that day. On this day, you are going to have victory. On this day, you are going to have victory. You and your family, you will have victory in the name of Jesus Christ. That wind of change, that wind of victory is moving right now 
wherever you are, receive that wind in the name of Jesus. Receive that wind in the name of Jesus. Receive that wind. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Receive that power. Power, power to be victorious in life. Power to be victorious. And you are going out and you are coming in. That wind came and tore the veil of the temple, tore it into two. And immediately the veil of the temple was torn into two. There was an earthquake. Earthquake that shook everywhere, that broke rocks into pieces. Every rock that is against you, the Lord is going to shatter it today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the earthquake that brought down mountains, every mountain that stands against you, I command that mountain to be brought down tonight, to be brought down this morning, to be brought down this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Ah, the Bible said that there was an earthquake. That wind, that wind was so powerful. That wind caused an earthquake. That is the wind of victory. It is coming your way today. It is coming your way through the, this telecast in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That wind of victory is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your life will never remain the same again because the Lord is for you. The Lord died for you and for me. The Lord died for your children. The Lord died for you to have peace and to have victory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that wind is blowing. It's moving to the east, moving to the west, moving to the north, moving to the south, and touching men and touching women. I see the glory of God coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see the glory of God. I see you that you are watching in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive that wind, receive that wind of change, receive that wind of victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're going to succeed in life. You're going to succeed in life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're going to succeed in life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right where you are, that wind will touch your family. That wind will touch your generation. That wind will touch you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Oh, Heavenly Father, let the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the power from the cross of Calvary locate your children tonight. Locate your children this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all of you under the sound of my voice, I command that sickness to melt and go. I command that healing, the healing to come upon your body. That sickness, I command it to go. That cancer, I command it to die right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That poverty, pack your nose and go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the people of God, they have come to renew their strength. They have come to the temple of Jehovah to renew their strength. This is the hour of renew, renewing of strength in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the hour of renewing of strength. For if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? The power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth shall follow you. The glory of Jehovah shall follow you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. And behold, the veil tore. The veil was torn into two. And the graves were opened. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And so many people rose with Jesus on that day. When that, when that earthquake occurred, the, so many people were delivered. So many people were delivered. The Bible said that even those that were dead, they rose up from the grave. Those that were sick, those that were crippled, they began to, to receive their healing. Those that were blind, they began to, to see. Those that, that were dead, they came back alive. I don't know what is dead in your life. I command it to come back alive. I don't know what the enemy has killed in your life. I command it to come back alive. The Bible says that on that day, on that day, there was an earthquake. And that earthquake made the, the dead to rise again. Anybody whose destiny is dead, I command destiny to receive life now. Rise again in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise again in the name of Jesus Christ. All your businesses that are dead, I command those businesses to come alive again. To come alive again. 
all your marriages that are dead. I command your marriages to come alive again in the name of Jesus Christ of Father. I command your marriages to come alive again in the name of Jesus Christ of Father. Receive it, 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 receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your life shall never be the same again. Your life shall never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the Bible said in verse 53, and they came out of the graves after his resurrection, and they went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Praise the Lord. In the resurrection morning, the resurrection morning is today. The Bible says that the other dead that, 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 that rose up, they went into the temple. They went into, into the city and they began to exhibit. They began to exhibit. They began to, they, 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 they began to show life again. They began to exist again. So shall you be. Your business may have been packed up. Your ministry may have been packed up. But it is coming back alive today. It is coming back alive today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is coming back alive today. The Bible says, and these dead bodies, the saints rose up. The dead, the saints that we are, we are dead, they rose up again. On the resurrection morning. And this time is the resurrection morning. This is the resurrection morning. The grace of God shall locate you. You are going to rise again. You are going to rise again. You may have fallen, but you shall rise again. You shall rise again. Dragon shall rise again. You may have fallen, but you shall rise again. Because of the anointing. The anointing is available today to cause you to rise again. Rise again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive that rising in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said that they rose, they rose again on the resurrection morning. On the resurrection morning, they rose again and they went to the city. They went to the city and they began to manifest the evidence of God's power. They went to the city, to the city, and they came out of the graves after his resurrection and they went into the into the holy city and appeared unto many. Jesus came, came and went to the holy city. He appeared unto many. He appeared unto many. Jesus will appear to you. Jesus will appear in your family. Jesus will prove himself. Jesus will prove himself. Jesus will prove himself in your case. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Jesus will prove himself. And I believe it. It shall come to pass because I believe it. Because you believe, if you believe, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. For those that believe, you will see the glory of God. You will see the glory of God. You will see Jesus in your case. Praise the Lord. First, uh, 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 Matthew chapter 28. I just want to read briefly because I want to close. I want to close. Oh my God. I want to close. But let me just tell you, Matthew chapter 28, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, being Sunday, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to, to the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. I see the angel of the Lord coming back from, from the throne of grace to roll away every stone, every stone that is rolled against your destiny, every stone that is rolled against your destiny, every stone that is rolled against your family, every stone that is rolled against your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may the angels be released today. The angels are moving. The angels are moving around. The angels are moving around to roll away stones in many people's lives. The angels are moving around to roll away that stone of obstruction, that stone of limitation. The stone is being rolled away. The stone is being rolled away. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the stone is being rolled away. Right from the right, from, 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 from my left to, to my right, I command the stones to be rolled away. 
I command these stones to be rolled away. In the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth, receive it where you are. Receive it where you are. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth, the stones were rolled away. The stones were rolled away. And they laid it in his own new tomb. Let me take you, let me fast forward. I want you to read the whole of, of uh, Matthew 28. But let me take you to verse 18 and 19 and 20. And Jesus came and he spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. This is the command. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. For he has got all the power. He gave us power. He said greater things than what he did shall we do. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. Even unto the end of this world. And in John chapter 14. My God. John chapter 14. I see the power being transferred. Power transfer. Power must change hands. Power must change hands. John chapter 14. Follow me straight. Let me close. Oh my God, I have one minute more. Let me close. Let me close. John 14 verse 12. Mala tetabu. Mala grazon dalapuria. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believes on me, the same works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. That power is what is transferred to us. And I release that power to you this hour. I release that power to you this hour. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Receive that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that power. Receive that power. Receive that power. Receive that power. Greater works than this shall you do. So if Jesus... As a result of what he was going through, what the enemy did to him, there was earthquake. I can cause earthquake. I can cause earthquake in the camp of my enemy. I can cause earthquake in the camp of your enemy, right where you are. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, I command earthquake to begin to take place in the camp of your enemies. I command earthquake to begin to take place in the camp of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, let there be earthquake. In the camp of your enemy, right where you are, I command an earthquake. Let there be earthquake. Let the ground open and swallow them. Anyone that doesn't want you to reign, anyone that doesn't want you, anyone that doesn't want you to see the glory of God, let there be earthquake in their camp. Let there be earthquake in their camp. Let there be earthquake in their camp. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, let the ground open up and swallow them. For you have been set free today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have been set free today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right where you are, the Lord is for you. The Lord Jesus is for you. Praise the Lord. The Lord is for you. Therefore, you cannot be destroyed. You cannot be destroyed. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Today, a salvation come unto you. Today, a salvation come unto the church. For you are a child of destiny. You are a child of God. The Lord Jesus has decided to visit your family, to visit your home. As a result of today's celebration of his, of his death, of his resurrection, today's celebration of his death and resurrection, that same power that took him out of the grave, that same power that caused earthquake, that same power will come to you. That same power will come to you. That same power will come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that same power will locate you. This month shall not pass you by. Any limitation that is 
walking against you, walking against your progress, walking against your life, that limitation is broken. That limitation is broken. That limitation is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you believe it, shout a better amen. The limitation is broken. And I declare that this week, this week, you will testify. You will come back to the church. You will come back to the church and testify. Even as you share this message, even as, as you connect with us in all our platforms, connect with us on Facebook, connect with us on Instagram, connect with us on YouTube. As you'll be watching this message on YouTube, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want you to like, comment, and share. And the Lord will bless you tremendously. That same power will be seen in your life, will be seen in your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you believe it, shout hallelujah and receive it where you are. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive it right.